Dream of Italy is made possible by... Monograms. All-in-one vacation packages that take care of everything. Because we believe travelers should spend their time enjoying the sights. Feeling like a local. Feeling completely at ease. Monograms. The Perillo Tours Foundation. For 73 years, we've been bringing travelers to Italy. It's where our heart is. First class escorted tours and custom vacations. Italy, the dream destination. PerilloTours.com, 1-800-431-1515. The main point helps guide business owners from the road they've been traveling to the dreams they have for the next. La Dolce Via Travel. We make Italy yours. La Dolce Via Travel dot com. Weekend in Italy dot com. It's all about family. Italy Ancestry dot com. My Italian family. Emilia Romagna. And also made possible by. I'm Kathy McKay. In this series, we'll meet the authentic characters, uncover the hidden treasures, and discover what makes Italy the most fascinating country in the world. Join me as we dream of Italy. There's something otherworldly and timeless about the region of Basilicata. From the rugged brown hills called Kalanki, hardened by thousands of years of wind, rain, and sun, to Matera, one of the oldest inhabited cities in the world. The beauty of this land attracted the ancient Greeks. And now, modern day travelers are discovering Basilicata's charms. No one ever heard of Basilicata, no one ever heard of Batera. Now this region is beginning to emerge and people realize that they haven't been compromised by a thousand years of tourism. The magic of Basilicata is in the hearts of the people and the simple pleasures of everyday life. Today I'm on the beach in Metaponto, looking for Tallinn, a special little clam that's popular here. It's a very, very hot day in Basilicata, so this is the best place to be. I'm fishing with Enzo. So he drags this net, it has like spikes in the front. He pulls the net just under the sand. That's where these hot. Una, due, tre. It's like a treasure hunt. Enzo's working hard over here. Che fatica. You are? You're tired? Uh, Un'altra regione si chiama diversamente, lo smena. You use your butt. Oh, yeah. So let me oh. see. Enzo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, bellissimo. I lost my tilline <laughs> because yeah, I was like, whoa. <laughs> To give Enzo a break, I offer to give it a go for a while. Tieni questo qui, e fai vieni avanti, spostati. Oh! Lavoro! Work in the work! Work, work, work. It's fun! I don't know if we have anything. Do you see any? Uh, uh. I look it. There's a rock. Oh, there we go. Let me see. Oh, una Plenty. That's 27, I'm using my math skills today. We're gonna see if we can make this into lunch. Per pranzo. Ciao. Un bacino. Si. Chef Mario De Muro graciously adds to our haul so we can make a local specialty, spaghetti con tallini. So it's a specialty all along the coast. A specialty that's olio. Start with the oil. Peperoncino. Si. Senti il profumo. Smells del, like del, Italy. Del <laughs> Parsley. So the tellini. Tellini. Subito un po' di. And of course, white wine. They're beautiful, a beautiful red. Bellissimo, bellissimo. Vedete, si. con le mani. So you put the pasta right in. And we mix it up. Mix. Gira tu. Si. Vedi, devi girare. Enzo! Enzo, guarda che profumo. Spettacolare. Allora, 
prego. Prima Aspetta. per me? Sì. sì. Ecco, brava, ecco qui. Ecco. Madonna. Come è sentimentale, cara. I met some two really good men. One who knows how to get the seafood and one who knows how to cook it. I'm a very lucky lady. <laughs>
town of Bernal with beautiful ornamental lights. So colorful, so exciting, and so much fun. And different strange parades with knights going by and people flagellating themselves and monks. It's like really some sort of medieval experience. Coppola eventually bought a palazzo and turned it into a hotel. My favorite spot in the whole place is this oh, courtyard. Very nice. When you step inside the walls of the nine-room Palazzo Margherita, you feel like you've been transported to 19th century Italy. The palatial spaces were personally designed by the Coppola family. Daughter Sofia took a soft touch in her room. Coppola's own quarters reflect his mother's Tunisian heritage. Movies are never far from mind here. The salon turns into a screening room, featuring 400 of Coppola's favorite films. The hotel bar is an homage to Cina Città, the Italian movie studio. Even in the intimate gardens, there is a magic to Palazzo Margherita that is timeless. I always imagine this is the garden that the princess has to stay in, and the prince climbs over the wall. It's absolutely gorgeous. And this is where the, the prince steals the kiss. <laughs> you have to film a movie here. And then here, as we go down, many herbs and fruit, uh, vegetables planted here that end up in the, in the food. Like here, we have rosemary. It's beautiful, even in the rain. It is. The hotel gardens aren't the only place secret encounters happened. The Palazzo holds some interesting Coppola family history. My grandfather was girl crazy. He was even known as a Zuppa Balcone because he would had developed a skill to jump on the rooftop in the, these houses and visit uh, the young girl, the housemaid, whose name was Palmetta. When I came to this palazzo and I was looking the first time when we were planning how to reconstruct it, there was the roof and there was a little room and then the little stairs going down to one of the rooms. And they said, oh, that was the maid's room. So I said, well, uh, maybe that was Palmetta's room. Today, this is where the Coppola family gathers. 100-year-old Uncle Anton, also known as Kiki, is a composer and his wife, Almerinda, a former ballerina, are here visiting. So I had five uncles who I loved very much, who were very good to me. He was especially kind to me. To the extent that he's built this magnificent, not four-star hotel, but 10-star hotel, if you I don't agree. mind. I agree, I agree, it is exquisite. Francis is the, is the king of this town. They'll tell you what you like at seven o'clock. We have a tradition, it's cocktails at seven at Chinechita, please. And that is the happiest time of the, of the day. But your father really appreciated to eat. I think the reason for that also is because Bernardin's, the, the cuisine of Bernardin's is so, so attractive and so interesting. There are a couple of food items that come from here that, you know, you could go to Rome and ask for them, and they don't know what you're talking about. You go to Naples and they don't know what you're talking about. Caputzel is half of a of a sheep's head or a lamb's head with the brains and everything. And there's l'ambrachone, which is a very mysterious, looks like a little onion, but it's the bulb of a flower. Mozzarella stuffed with l'ambrachone is a favorite of Coppola's and hotel guests. Leonardo Parente is a cheesemaker in Bernalda. So Leo, how old were you when you started to make cheese? At 17. Oh, yeah. 17. Yeah, teenager. And you learned from your father. Yeah. And my grandfather. And, and your grandfather. Yes, so sure. you're carrying on the tradition yeah, yeah. here in Bernalda. Yes. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Oh. Don't want to uh, hurt anybody yeah. with that. Yeah. <laughs> I've never made mozzarella no. before. I, I want to. Ooh, it's hot. Yeah, sure. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, my God, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. It's really soft. <laughs> Look at that. It's ready. OK. So what are those? Yes, this what is lampachoni. Like uh, onion, wild onion. Wild onions. Oh, yeah. And everyone eats yeah. them here Look. in Basilicata. Yes. And you put it inside. Put it inside. Oh, like a surprise. Yeah. I'd be very surprised if I bought some mozzarella and I bit into it and that was in there. Sure. 
And you put it into cool yeah. water? Yes, cold water. <gasps> so look at that. Are they ready to eat? Yeah, sure. With lampachone or...? Lampachone, of yeah, course. Sure. And when in Bernalda, <laughs> yeah, you eat sure. lampachone. So, buon appetito. Buon appetito. Mm. You get the crunch. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, the lampachone. Mmm, yeah, yeah. there's a lot of flavor. Good? Mmm, very good. <laughs> This is definitely the freshest mozzarella yeah. I've ever had. I'm going to keep eating. Uh, yeah. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> the ancient city of Matera is the crown jewel of Basilicata, famous for its saucy caves carved out of the rock. For thousands of years, these caves were home to farmers who struggled to survive. Today, they have been reborn as hotels, restaurants, museums, and artists' workshops. Local guide Francesco Foschino is showing me around. So what is all of this? Yes, this is a special thing. This is a stamp, and this stamp was very important. It was used to mark bread, loaves of bread. And they were baked in a huge communal oven. And then they needed to distinguish my loaf of bread, then your loaf of From bread. And so they had the marks for bread. So yes. it has the, the initials. Exactly. Well, this is very elaborate. It is. What is this? <laughs> this is also for a mariage. <laughs> when, when you're locked together. All right, all right, all right. And this is just for one piece of wood. So this was oh, one piece of wood. Oh, my gosh. And uh, there will be two initials here, the, the initials. men and the women. Very romantic. Yes, I think so. <laughs> it's cheaper than a diamond it is. for the proposal. Don't give the men any ideas. <laughs> no, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> there is also one casually with. Ah, per me? <laughs> Grazie. Please, please. So excited. <laughs> yes, but, but you need to use it. I need the bread. <laughs> yes, you need the bread. Where do we go? We go to a bakery for that. Andiamo. Yes, right Arrivederci. <laughs> Grazie. Thank you so much. <laughs> Francesco is taking me to Pane Pace to see how loaves of bread have been made here for centuries. I have never seen loaves of bread this big. Yes, they had to be very big because the peasants had to be out in the countryside for a couple of weeks. And this size could last for a couple of weeks for one person. So person. they would bring this whole yes. thing with them? Exactly. And how many of these would fit in a big communal oven? 33 of these. 33? Yes. So that's that's almost the size of a room. Yes. So he's kneading the bread. See? That's not good. Dove? On the top. Right here. And then we knew this belonged to KM. Which is you. So my bread is ready. Yeah. I can smell it. Mmm, it's fresh. Oh, you have to be strong. Yeah. So it's hard on the outside. Yes. But it's very soft inside. Mmm, so good. Bread is the, one of the best things about Italy. It's true. Three-wheeled vehicles called apes are a fun way to see Matera. Dunque, signora, benvenuta sul mio Ferrari, eh? Welcome to my Ferrari. Ah, piace molto. Now we are in the modern part of the town. Yes. People of Matera come to walk up and down, and the reason to walk up and down is just to socialize. And there are some evenings that you just make a couple of steps and then you have to stop because you meet a friend. You and meet everybody. More steps, it's like a small town. It's a small town, but it's not so small that you know everyone. This arch used to be the old city gate. And now we are going to the Sassi area. I can't wait. And we stop here. Now we get off and we visit okay. the caves inside. In the 1940s, political activist Carlo Levi wrote the book Christ Stopped at Eboli about the poverty and daily hardships in Basilicata. The people here felt they had been, as Levi explained, bypassed by Christianity 
by morality, by history itself, excluded from the full human experience. Carlo Levi was exiled in Basilicata during the fascism as he was communist. And then when he was back in 45, he wrote this book. And this book changed the history of my town, my family, and so my history as well. And when he visited Matera, he was shocked to see the living condition of the people in the caves. And that was a national, international scandal because they were wondering how is it possible that in the 50s and the 40s, there are still people living in the caves. So after this book, the government of Italy, they decided to move all the people living in this area out of here. So my family, my grandparents, I mean, they were moved out of here. And this became completely deserted and neglected. This was the shame of Italy. That's the nickname of Matera, after the book. Today, Matera is a UNESCO World Heritage. It's a European capital of culture for 2019. There are people living, hotels, restaurants, shops, and it's back to life. And this is the place to go. Yes. In Italy. Now it is, it's true. I wonder if Carlo Levi would be shocked. It will, it, for sure he will, <laughs> for sure he will. Rago raises Nero Lucano pigs. Once an endangered species, today these pigs are part of the landscape once again. The University of Basilicata breeding program gives farmers one boar and five sows. Are they saying hello? Ciao, ciao. These are your, your babies. Oh, they're hungry. They're beautiful. Whoa. Abbiamo circa 600 capi. <laughs> that one is the boss. <laughs> Capo. Mangino olive. Si, mangiano anche olive, si. So they eat the olives. Si. These are the best olives in the world. <laughs> so they're very, very lucky pigs. Si. It's a beautiful life. They have lots of freedom, plenty of food. La dolce vita. Bella vita. <laughs> si. Because of their natural diet and lifestyle, these pigs have well-marbled meat that is some of the best tasting in the world. Once the pigs are processed and the salsiccia is made, it is aged for 40 days. This is the salsiccia of Sui Non Evo Lucano. It's one of the many products that we do from the pigs. So this is the sausage that comes from the pigs? Yes. Can I try? Yes. Chin chin. Fantastico. Si. Mm. It tastes like pepperoni that we have in the Stati Uniti. Si, pepperoni. Pepperoni, pepperoni fino a Castel Mazzano and Pietra Pertosa are two of the most beautiful villages in Basilicata. Domenico! Hi, Katie. Are you ready for the adventure? I am very ready for adventure. Will it be bumpy? Yes. Yeah, but fun. Fun. Half of Basilicata is covered by mountains, and the drive through the Dolomiti Lucane is one of the most scenic in all of Italy. Oh boy, now we're getting onto the real off roading. Whoa. <laughs> the best way to go is by 4x4. Four four. This is a rocking good time. <laughs> ah, look what we have here. Together. Castel Mezzano, Pietra Bertone. Yes. Castel Mezzano. Yes. Pietro Bertosa. Unbelievable. That's incredible. This is beautiful in here with the trees. Very nice. It's incredible. We made it. Don't Welcome to Pietra Bertosa. Thank you. Thank you for a wonderful ride. Basilicata is a captivating, unexplored corner of Italy that has influenced the world far beyond its borders. My mother used to say when we were kids, you know, I remember very vividly, she said, Francis, you're so lucky. You're an American, and America is the greatest country in the world. And my father would say, yes, you're American, but you're also Italian, and the Italians are the greatest culture in the world.
Dream of Italy is made possible by... Monograms. All-in-one vacation packages that take care of everything. Because we believe travelers should spend their time enjoying the sights. Feeling like a local. Feeling completely at ease. Monograms. The Perillo Tours Foundation. For 73 years, we've been bringing travelers to Italy. It's where our heart is. First class escorted tours and custom vacations. Italy, the dream destination. PerilloTours.com, 1-800-431-1515. The main point helps guide business owners from the road they've been traveling to the dreams they have for the next. La Dolce Via Travel. We make Italy yours. La Dolce Via Travel .com. Weekend in Italy .com. It's all about family. ItalyAncestry.com. My Italian family. Emilia Romagna. And also made possible by. For more about visiting Italy, additional videos, and a companion travel guide, please visit dreamofitaly.com.